And we will have a record crowd on hand here today of better than 103,000. And now the Michigan band under the direction of William D. Ravelli. And incidentally, the Ohio band was under the direction of Charles Spahn. Is poised on the far side in the tunnel on the eastern side of the Michigan Bowl. And here they come at a cadence of 220 beats to the minute. Michigan fanfare after which Michigan will turn down the field to the north end and play the traditional fight song the victors the drum major this year is Mark Brown of Livermore Kentucky Attempt to throw his baton over the goalpost and catch it, which has been in the past symbolic of Michigan victory. Victor's March, written by the late Louis L. Bell when he was a student at the University of Michigan. He was so inspired by a Michigan victory over then-feared Chicago that he came back on the train and on his journey back to Ann Arbor in the early 1900s, he penned this wonderful song. Dr. Charles Spahn, who is the director of bands at Ohio State University, will lead the Michigan band in our national anthem. The flagpole is at the south end of the stadium with the color guard there now.
them having a particularly solemn significance today because, as you know, it was just exactly six years ago today President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. Now let's take a look at the Michigan team of this year. Truly a remarkable team in the fact that the Wolverines had faltered at midseason and all of a sudden they've come on strong. They have a mark of 7-2 and two so far. They have won four in a row after losing to Michigan State, a team that many feel uh, they should not have lost to. And like Ohio State, their offense starts with their quarterback, Don Moorhead, a man who last year was an understudy, learned mostly from the bench uh, behind Dennis Brown. He has passed for over 700 yards this year, but his total offense is over 1,000 yards. And we just saw why. He can run as well as throw. Mostly he is an intermediate passer, but occasionally he'll throw deep, as we see here, to Bill Harris, number 80, who, by the way, makes a great catch. The leading receiver for the Wolverines is tight end Jim Mandage, the team captain, who runs this pattern, the hook, a lot. Also the crossing pattern. And as you, we see him fight for a touchdown, you can see why he's an All-American candidate. And yesterday you had a chance to get to know this young man a little bit better. Jim Mandich, number 88. Well, Jim, as captain of this Michigan team, you must have some very personal thoughts about this Ohio State game. Uh, as you know, Bill, I've never been on a team that has defeated Ohio State. And unfortunately, we're going into our third year, my third year against uh, the supposedly greatest uh, Ohio State team of all time. But uh, this doesn't bother me or the team in any way. Uh, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to play Ohio State and feel that our chances are, are better than anyone else of, of defeating the Ohio State team. What's it going to really take as far as Michigan is concerned? Luck? Uh, luck could be a factor, but but I'd, I'd rather rely on just every man playing their, their best game of the year, their greatest game tomorrow against Ohio State. Best of luck to you, Jim. I know it's something that you've wanted since the moment you entered Michigan. Thank you very much. Sure is. Well, the question seems to be, what was the reason for Michigan's resurgence? I think it really involved a man with the name of Billy Taylor. He's a sophomore, wears number 42, and he started after the Michigan State game against Minnesota. Well, that was five weeks ago, and since then he's averaged better than 200 yards a game, which is slightly fantastic. He was playing behind Glenn Dowdy. And here we see the fact that he has great leg strength, uh, shiftiness, and the open field speed. He busted about five tackles en route to a 33-yard touchdown. And watch again the way he can break these tackles. One, two, a good block, and off he goes, 69 yards for a touchdown. And he holds the Big Ten record this year of 84 yards. That's the longest touchdown run in the conference. It was against Illinois. Well, one thing is certain, Michigan is emotionally high, just about as high as a team can get, whether it's enough to beat the tremendous Buckeyes, we'll soon find out. From the Michigan Stadium at Ann Arbor, this has been College Football Today. This is Bill Fleming along with Lee Gross Cup, inviting you to stay tuned now for NCAA College Football Today's game featuring the Buckeyes of Ohio State versus the Wolverines of the University of Michigan.